Hey guys, Argyvantix here, and this is my walkthrough of Defense Tactics 1 through 3. Because the first three are so straightforward, I'm just going to do it all in one video. So let's get started. Defense Tactics 1 is a fairly simple puzzle. You start with a Tarsier, and you just slowly whittle away at your opponent's Tarsier supply. It teaches you the basics of Absorb. In Prismata, units that don't take lethal damage, the damage will just go away after the defense phase. So in the case of Wall, it has 3 health, which means it can absorb up to 2 points of damage. So if we lose our force field, we can put 2 points of damage on the wall, and then after defense is over, the damage just goes away. So those 2 points essentially are wasted by our opponent. So in return, we get to kill Tarsier, and when he's doing 3 damage, we can just lose an Engineer, and again, put 2 points of damage on the wall. In general, this is the very basic concept of defense. You want to absorb as much damage as possible on your units, so high health units are a premium, and each point of damage you absorb is just basically a point of damage your opponent has to waste every turn. We get to the point where our opponent is down to two Tarsiers, so we just absorb everything on the wall. There's no way for our opponent to kill a wall at this point, so we just kill his last Tarsier and move on to the next scenario. In Defense Tactics 2, our opponent just has a lot more Tarsiers and we have a lot more defense. And in return, we have two points of damage. So things get a little bit more explosive, but not by too much. Our opponent is attacking for seven points of damage, so we can just lose two engineers, a wall, and then once again absorb the remaining two damage on a wall. So once again, we're getting maximum amount of absorb, which allows us to survive for as long as possible. And in this case, our opponent will be able to kill our last wall, but we have just enough damage to survive, and we win the one damage versus one damage stare off because our Tarsier fires first. So that's puzzle two. Defense Tactics three is a little more interesting. Our opponent has very high HP Gauss Cannon units, and initially, of course, we will be killing his low HP Tarsiers because they do the same amount of damage as Gauss Cannon, and we want to reduce his damage as much as possible. So he will still be attacking for four, now normally, if you want to get maximum absorb on your walls, you would lose two engineers over the wall. But in this case, the engineers are actually worth more than having two walls. And the reason is, when we kill his Tarsier, and he has only three Gauss Cannons left, because he's doing exactly three damage and we have no engineers, there's no way to absorb. So he would just get to kill a wall every single turn. And he'd be able to kill our last wall before we're able to deal with his Gauss Cannons. That's really bad. So going back to the start, the actual way to beat this mission is to get slightly less efficient absorb by just getting one absorb on the wall and uh, losing a wall over the wall. What this does though is it allows us to put our engineers one at a time over a wall. And this is kind of the strength of having low HP defensive units. They're much more flexible on defense. You don't just have to lose a whole wall every time your opponent attacks for 3 damage. And by doing this, we actually buy enough time to kill his third Gauss Cannon. This leaves him with just two Gauss Cannons, which is insufficient to actually break through the wall. And we will slowly whittle away at our opponent. Until finally, we kill his last Gauss Cannon. And that's the end of Defense Tactics 3. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video.